Hello, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about problem that a lot of you are going to face. Let's imagine that you downloaded some models from uh, one of your favorite websites. And this is what you see. First, not only there are unsupported materials, but also a lot of textures are missing. And we've got a whole list of problems uh, to begin with. So let's just go through all of those problems and see what exactly to, uh, 3ds Max or Corona exactly is trying to tell us. First of all, Corona error messages. Whenever you see this window, do not panic. Most of the time when this appears, it's just going to be some kind of information. So for example, material type V-Ray blend material is not supported. And we also have conveniently the name of that material. So we can just select the object and see which one it is. And this is probably it. Also, we've got another material, so we can pretty much do the same with the other object in our scene. So it's very simple. Luckily, uh, Corona comes with many solutions. And this is one of those times when we can actually use it. Um, if you have Corona toolbar, just click on Corona converter. This is the icon. It's going to be right here. But if for some reason uh, the toolbar doesn't appear in your, on your screen, uh, you can just simply go to scripts, run script, go to the uh, Corona folder, and you're going to find Corona converter right there. So we can double click and just open the newest version that you currently have. So that's going to be it. And this is how Corona converter looks like. First of all, we already work with Corona renderer, so we don't need to switch this into any other rendering engine. So we're just going to click start. And before we do, just let's just make sure that we're um, converting the whole scene. So everything, materials, lights, okay, conversion really uh, seems to be fine in my case. So let's just click start. Before you click start, really, it's best to just make sure to stop your rendering because sometimes it may be a little bit problematic. So we're going to stop our rendering, click on conversion, and let's wait a few seconds. Okay, now we can restart our rendering. And let's see what kind of errors we're getting now. Okay, so those errors are the older ones. Um, but they do not have any time tag, so it's hard to tell. But at this time, we know that we only have this red icon and required assets are missing. So what it really means is that we are missing some textures. And it's a very common problem that whenever you open your scene or open some kind of model, some of the textures may be missing. It's going to be really, um, well, your first thought is to look for uh, open your material editor and just uh, simply uh, grab one of the materials and start looking through your model. And while looking through it, we can see that the texture is missing. So we may actually uh, double click on it and locate this exact texture. In this case, it's this folder. So I can just uh, click on this uh, location, control C. And in this case, I'm going to load it um, as I go. So paste this location and open. Now we know what texture we're looking for. Okay, we're done. But the thing is that this problem did not yet really disappear. Why? Because there's a lot of textures missing. And if your model or your scene is going to be very complex, this may result in hundreds of textures missing. So we need global solution. Okay, so there is one. We can actually open Asset Tracker in 3ds Max. So how do we do that? First, we can click on File. Then we're going to go to Reference. And here we've got Asset Tracking Toggle. If you press Shift D, you're just going to jump into this window. And that's pretty much going to be exactly the same uh, spot. So typically, whenever you will be loading your scenes, uh, this list is going to be empty. Um, it is going to be empty or right now we can see that we're missing textures, but all of them are found. Probably some of the information is not correct. So let's just refresh this. And yes, as I said, it's not really working fine. Uh, so for some reason, this asset tracking does not refresh on its own. So whenever you open it, you have to click on this icon or right click and refresh it manually. That's just how they decided it's going to be the most convenient to work with. But what is our next step? So we can see that there's a lot of textures that are missing. So 
grabbing only one wasn't really uh, that fast. So first thing I'm going to do is um, check what exactly, um, what types of files were missing because asset tracking is not only going to track your textures, it's also going to track your proxies, your lights or whatever type of external file is going to be attached to your scene, it's going to be on this list. So luckily we only are missing textures. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to select all of my textures and I can deselect this one. So just hold your left control to select or deselect additional items. And now I'm going to right click and I'm going to strip the path. Typically, we're going to be able to just set the path without stripping it, but it's a good practice because this way you will allow 3ds Max to look for external files through your libraries. So now we're going to click on the same folder I just shown you. Copy this directory exactly. Uh, so this directory is going to be related to your computer and your textures. So always when downloading models, make sure to place them exactly where they are supposed to be. And well, make sure that your libraries are going to be um, more or less permanent because moving your objects, uh, from, I mean, moving textures uh, in your folder may result in a little bit of problems. So now we're going to add uh, this path by clicking on set path. So I'm going to paste this path again, we can also search for it by clicking on those three dots. But I think it's going to be faster and more intelligent approach to just paste this exact location where I know those textures related to this model are. Now we're going to have to wait a few seconds because um, all of those textures are being updated and you can already see that uh, also our viewports are updating. So there's a few textures missing still uh, at the top. So I'm going to just select all of them, set path. And as you can see, I can paste it in again, very fast, very easy. And we are now done. So what can we do uh, about those textures? Because sometimes, not always, just sometimes 3ds Max is not going to be able to load all of them if there's hundreds of them at a time, you may want to save your scene and reload it to allow 3ds Max to refresh all the textures and all of the directories. Okay, but what if uh, just what if we have uh, some kind of situation where you actually will be using um, some kind of library, for example, Evermotion trees. Uh, so in this case, because we've got hundreds of objects in one library, and we don't want to necessarily go through each and every model to fix its paths, we need a global solution. Also, right now, you also should know that we fixed this and those paths for our current scene. So for example, if you um, loaded some kind of sofa into your current scene, and you started rendering it, it, lo it looks fine, and everything works. Okay, but you only fixed it for this one scene. So it's a good practice to open this kind of models in a separate window to really uh, fix them there to, um, to convert all the materials and make this uh, as a change permanent. So save your file as a copy if needed. But in this case, make sure to just um, go through each and every model one by one. But as I said, in some cases, it's going to be a little bit problematic to go through each and every model because as you can see, there are hundreds of them. And well, I wouldn't like to go to each and every um, model that I have in my library to just uh, get the right um, textures. So again, it would cost me a lot of time. Um, more often than not, you're going to also see the scene converter. What it means is that 3ds Max is trying to help you convert materials into some kind of render engine. And by default, it's going to be art renderer. And um, really, we want to avoid using it. It's only because mental ray, the previous um, rendering engine that was used uh, in 3ds Max by default is no longer part of 3ds Max they try to get rid of all the leftovers. So it's best to just ignore this if you don't know what you're exactly doing, because it's not going to have any 
impact on the scene and we finally have our three so it's a rather big model and uh, as you can see it's missing some textures just like the sofas did we might actually go to asset tracking to make sure that we know what kind of textures we're looking for and where they should be stored but as i said it's um it's a big library and we want to avoid any kind of confusion if we load another three uh, we don't want to repeat this process uh, um, hundreds of times so i'm going to go to textures for uh, those uh, libraries and just copy this uh, directory first so let's just right click copy and now i can just uh, close this window or just minimize it remember that each time when you open as a tracking you want to refresh because some kind of textures may might be missing and you want to always make sure that you're using the right um, paths and the right amount of objects so now since we do know that we're missing those textures what can we do we're going to go for paths and we're going to configure project paths so in this case, we actually will be adding external files. What it is, it's a type of directory that your 3ds Max, your exclusively 3ds Max is going to be looking through those directories for any additional files to load for your scenes. So if a texture is missing, first 3ds Max is going to try to look for this texture at this directory. If the texture isn't there, it's going to try to look for external files. Depending on the version of 3ds Max, it is uh, possible that uh, your external files are going to be entirely ignored whenever you add some kind of directory. So if you know that some kind of textures are supposed to be at this directory, so this external file, you want to make sure to delete any kind of paths that are going to be related to that model. Also, what is going to be a good tip for you is to always save your external file patches. Because in this case, if we have this path and we want to, for example, switch computers or up upgrade our system, reinstall Windows, you won't have to build this whole library of, let's say, 50 directories that you spend so much time on building. So uh, let's just save this file. Make sure that you save it in somewhere on your drive that's, that you know is going to be safe. So for example, in my case, it's going to be uh, C documents and we're going to go to 3ds Max main folder and we're going to just uh, type in path. So it's going to be easy for me to remember. Okay, so I've got this path and now we're going to save this. Uh, what is also a good idea is to check if an, any additional file that you've added um, previously is not missing right now. I did delete this kind of uh, textures and I've already made sure to not include this element in. So let's again open this window, configure a user paths, external files. Now I know I can delete this and I'm going to just simply add this uh, file that uh, we've added a few moments ago and again resave this file to just make sure that it's going to be exactly what I needed and when I need to move my computers it's going to be there okay so now let's click OK once again refresh all of the textures are found so there's a difference between OK and found found means that 3ds Max was able to go through external links and it just happened to find that texture uh, with exact uh, exactly this name but if it's okay it means that in this specified location there was a file exactly with the name requested so everything is okay and here everything is just fine uh, i mean so in this case everything is okay and in this specific case everything is found if you like this type of content, please let us know in the comments, like and subscribe for more. Also, visit our website to check out our beginner and advanced tutorials only available at visacademy.uk. Thank you and I hope that you learned something helpful and see you in another video.